Hey dad jokes. So if a person walks up with a bowl of chili, all you have to do is ask them, are you feeling pretty cold? Because it looks like you got a little chili. So if someone's going to the restroom, ask them, are they tired? And if they ask why, tell them, well, you're going to the restroom. So why is Peter Pan always flying around? Because he never lands. Did you know that Van Gogh wanted to be a musician before he was a painter? But he didn't have an ear for music. Did you hear about that circus fire last night? It was intense. Did you know you should never trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Did you know that leopards are terrible at hiding? I mean, they're always spotted. You know, there's a couple guys, they stole a calendar. I heard they got six months each. So I hear piggy banks are so wise. You know why? It's because they're so full of common sense. So this is a table. Do you know what it is now? It's a table of contents. So it's story time. So I was down in uh, Cincinnati, right? And I was doing training for my job. And uh, my instructor there, he was talking about uh, the bridge in Cincinnati that caught this huge fire. And I guess there's a chemical truck involved and everything and it caused all kinds of this, like, you know, crazy burning. And it actually like completely caused the bridge to be absolutely useless. Like nobody could cross it. They had to do a massive repair on it and everything. And the only thing I could say is, man, that's one way to burn a bridge. So what do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. So, which bear is the most condescending? You give up? A panda? So I heard that the CEO of IKEA has uh, become the prime minister of Sweden. I think the first thing he's going to do is assemble his cabinet. So do you know you should always invite a mushroom to a party? You know why? Because it's a fun guy. So. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? Because it's too tired. So what do you get when you cross the Atlantic Ocean with the Titanic? About halfway. I remember one time I actually tried to be an archaeologist once, you know, I, but it never really worked out because the first day on, my, on the job, my life was in ruins. So do you know what the worst part is about learning that you have Alzheimer's? It doesn't just happen once. Do you know what the worst thing is about finding out you have Alzheimer's? It just doesn't happen once. Do you know what the worst thing is about finding out you have Alzheimer's? It doesn't just happen once. And today's Daily Dad joke is about our alien friends out in the outer space. Because, you know, people say that there are no aliens, that they don't exist and everything like that. But you know what? They actually had planned on coming to visit our solar system. Did you know that? But they decided against it. Do you know why? We have poor reviews, only one star. So um, I have this buddy, he's actually into like World War II stuff, uh, an old uh, military legacy, like historical artifacts and books and stuff like that. And so uh, he read, he actually showed me this book called, that was written in the 1950s called uh, How to Survive an Atomic Attack. That book was the bomb. So did you hear about the new movie Constipation? It hasn't come out yet. So, but you know there's a fine line between a numerator and a denominator? Only a fraction of people will find this funny. So at one time I actually dated a girl who was cross-eyed, but it never could have worked. We never could see eye to eye. Plus I think she was seeing somebody on the side. Do you know that birds fly faster after a chili cookout? Do you know why? Because they have a strong tailwind. So what do you call a lazy kangaroo? A pouch potato. So, what do fish take to stay healthy? Vitamin C. So do you know what two octopuses that look exactly alike are called? They look identical. Well, that's it for the daily dad joke uh, cut. So if you like what I'm doing and if you like what you hear, please uh, leave a comment down below. If there's a joke you want to hear, leave that in the comment. Um, also, a big shout out to my buddy Blake and my buddy uh, Tom for always supplying me with corny jokes along the way. And again, 
If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and love to hear what you guys think of it. You've just been Daily Dad Joked.